Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, into ICRC's coverage of Marymount Basketball. I'm Will Stevens alongside Talon Vianello, and tonight the Warriors take on the Amazons of Madeira. It's going to be a great rivalry matchup for us here, Talon. Who are some players to look out for? Um, on the Madeira team, Will, uh, senior number one, Alexa Hacker, averaging 12.5 points per game this year and led the CHL on assists last year. She's also shooting 41% from the field. Yeah, no doubt she's 11 for this team. As the Amazons go, Hacker goes. On the Marymount side, it's the Marymount point guard, the sophomore Miller Spreen, number four. She's averaging 13, three and three this year. Was second team all CHL as a freshman. Her uncle is the coach of this Marymount team, and she is definitely gonna need to do a lot for the Warriors tonight. The Amazons have struggled on defense, and if Spreen can punish them with a lot of threes, it's gonna be a problem. We're gonna take a quick break here, ladies and gentlemen, and come right back for the opening tip-off. I'm an actor in an ad that was given 12 seconds to remind you that if you're high, just don't drive. Because if you feel different, you drive different. It's illegal to drive high everywhere anyway. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. And here we go with the opening tip off. Tip off, it is controlled by Madeira. And a jump ball is already called. Marymount will have the first possession of this game. Lindsey Fry is gonna start bringing the ball up. The court for the Warriors. Starting lineup is Zanardo, Fry, Metz, Spreen, and Muller. Kicks it out to Jane Muller. She takes it inside and picks up two easy points right there. Well, it looks like uh, we'll have the opposite of the Warriors' first game where they were severely undersized against the opposing team. But uh, the Madeira team looks uh, a little bit smaller today than uh, teams they've played up in the past. Yeah, look for a big night out of Mila Zanardo, the junior. She's been having a really solid year already, averaging eight rebounds a game. Hacker will pull it out to the top of the key. The two seniors match it up against each other here. Now it's Davis with control. Davis and Richie playing ping pong at the volleyball line. Screen and roll, Hacker kicks it out. Press resets and now it will be Richie at the top of the key. Very slow possession for the Amazons to start here. Yeah, great defense so far by the Warriors. Madeira really struggling to get a look. Pruss setting screens at the top of the key, but nothing doing. Richie on the wing, they dump it inside. No good on the layup. And Madeira will retain possession. It was Zoe Abrams inside who got a good look, which could, could not convert. Yeah, well, uh, Madeira, it's not uh, coming out very hot on offense. They can't really seem to get anything going. Yeah, Marymount playing suffocating defense early. Abrams wanted the three, wouldn't take it though. They look for Hacker. Now they go back door to Brahms again. Can't get that one either. Two That's good looks for Zoe on that possession. They're very similar looks too, Will, that just got to convert on layups. Now Fry will pull the three. No good. Evie Metz on the rebound. Also no good. A third try and one for Mila Zanardo. Great put back by Mila Zanardo right there. Yeah, this is what you have to look for if you're Coach Spreen and the Warriors tonight is these second chance opportunities with your size advantage. Both Metz and Zanardo getting offensive rebounds on that possession. Yeah, that height is already coming uh, to be a factor here, Will. Mila knocks down the free throw. She doesn't miss many of those. Let's see if they change anything up on this second uh, possession here. Russ forces it inside to Hacker between two defenders, and they will call a, a travel. Thought we were going to get a wow. foul on the floor but they get Hacker for a walk and Marymount gets the ball back. Hey, 
Yeah, we get another look at it here, Talon. A great defense by Lindsay and Mila. Yeah, phenomenal defense. We'll wind up getting the travel call. Evie inside to Muller. And an offensive three seconds is called on the sophomore. That's just, that's a lack of uh, discipline right there, I think. Yeah, you know, she's trying to get that ball on the post, but got to know when to get out. Cannot give a, pos a possession like that. Now Spreens makes a great play as Zanardo almost great takes it right away. There. Spreen had Natasha Davis trapped out beyond half court, and Zanardo was almost able to capitalize. Now this one's stolen by Muller, gives it to Fry. They're gonna look to push, no numbers though, and they slow it down. So far, this has not looked like the same team that Madeira had last year. I mean, they were right neck and neck with the Wars. Yeah, Brahms gets two points right there though. Yeah, definitely a revenge game for the Warriors. Talon just touched on it, but these teams split the regular season with each other last year. Madeira ended up winning the league and then beating Marymount in the state tournament. So these Marymount girls have been rearing to go against this Amazons team trying to get their revenge. Spreen works on Hacker at the top of the key. She pulls up for three, no good. I'll be looking to see more threes out of her tonight, Will. She, she's definitely good for at least a few a game. Yeah, Spreen and Fry are a scary duo in the backcourt. Those two have hit a lot of threes this year. Fry shooting at 45%, Spreen around 30, so. They've got the green light to fire whenever they want. Interesting to see Marymont's got Evie Metz matched up against Emma Pruss. And Zanardo not in the paint as much. She's guarding Richie, so we'll see how that plays out and if that matchup will be adjusted throughout the game. She gets a tip on it there, but Pruss controls it inside. Now they send a double team. Kick out. Three is no good from Fiona. About halfway through this first quarter, five to two, Marymount leads it. And that's already two fouls on uh, Emma Press. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna get number 30, Addison Rockwell, the junior, to enter the game. Talon and I do believe that she is the boys varsity coach's daughter. He yeah. has a, a son on the boys team, and I think a daughter on the girls team, so we'll see if that coaching discipline will affect her game I, here. I thought I th uh, that name looks familiar to me. Yeah, short from Muller there on the three. Now Davis will look to push. Hacker wants it. Got the sophomore on her. Got to think this is a matchup they like, but instead they're going to hand it off to Richie. A lot of passing cut here with Rockwell setting the screens. Coach Klein wants his team to move faster. They eventually do get it inside to Abrams. Kick out three to Rockwell. And she hits it. Money. Beautiful shot right there. I can't tell you how many times I watched her brother AJ do that last year against the Warriors in this game. And she starts off hot. Man, Zanardo's got Richie on her. She's got a huge height advantage there. Got to think they want to attack that one. For sure. Looks like mm, had a little bit of a post. Uh, Look right there for second. Yeah, now Fry wanted the three and said she's gonna drive. Now she takes the three, catches air. Oh. The Warriors really wanna take control of this game. They gotta do what Indian Hill did and limit the shots of uh, Hatcher, or Hacker. Yeah, you see that run back from Rockwell. Madeira's been scoring a lot of points this year, but struggling to get stops at times. So, gotta think this is a promising start for the Amazons as the freshman Alyssa Dewey enters the game for Marymont. Brahms and Muller on the wing. Richie trying to look inside to a Brahms, just couldn't get it. A lot of patience from this Amazon team. They are not scared to drag out a possession for a long time. No. Rockwell's gonna try Second it again. Round. Not I'm the same result. Time. Yeah, we'll, uh, the Mustangs have had uh, every single game under five points except for Indian Hill. And the difference maker, Will, what do you think that was in that game? 
Well, you know, that Indian Hill team is absolutely scary this year, led by Brooke Arrington. They're going to be a contender to win the league for sure, but I mean, the Amazons, I think it all comes down to the defensive side of the ball. Last year, they were giving up just 26 points per game. This year, it's, all, it's up over 40. So if they can keep their opponents under 30 points, they're going to have a great chance to win this game, and they're doing it so far. Another factor in that game was that was the only game that Alexa Hacker scored under 12 points this year. Yeah, we talked about it in our free game opening. Talent talk about the play of Hacker, and they're going to need her to have a night if they're going to try and pull out a win here. Wilder enters the game. She's guarding a Brahms inside. Ooh. Foul is called. Looks like it's going to be on Zanardo. Yeah, she. I don't want to see her get into foul trouble again, Will. The first game we did, I said it was going to play a role, and it did. She fouled out before even overtime started. Yeah, Marymount had a devastating overtime defeat to Batavia, and Zanardo fouled out at the end of the fourth quarter, which severely hurt the Warrior team down the stretch. So got to keep her in the game as long as possible and out of foul trouble. Richie goes two for two from the line and the Amazons have their first lead of the night. Of the afternoon, I should say. It is 1.30 here in Marymont. <laughs> Gennaro fakes the handoff, now takes it inside, kicks it to Wilder, mid-range jumper, no good. Now Brahms looks to push it on the freshman, pulls it back out to Hacker, driving baseline, spinning, and making a nice move to get to the free throw line. Looks like the foul was on, who's that on? It's on number 15, Lindsay Fry. Lindsay Fry. Yeah, you see the spin move Hacker makes to get inside here. Lindsay Great just couldn't get out of the way. Foul. Hacker knocks down the second to extend the lead. Number 10, Grace Kellett, the sophomore, enters the game for the Amazons. Being instructed to guard Alyssa Dewey. Yeah, right at the end of that uh, loss in overtime, uh, Alyssa Dewey finally started to get um, involved in the game and saw uh, some success from that. Yeah, she's going to be a super important player, not only this year, but down the road. She's just a freshman. Her and Emmy Pageant have a bright future ahead of them. So looking to get them as much experience as possible this year, but definitely in the years to come, they're going to be a formidable duo. Wilder on the inbounds here. Trying to get it to the corner, but they can. Instead, Zanardo ends up with it. Hook shot. Rims out. Zanardo saves it off of Madeira. What a nice play from the junior. Another thing I'm excited to see, Will, is uh, how the chemistry progresses throughout the season. As uh, During the last game, they, they made some passes expecting players to be there. Then just nobody was there. But uh, this team is also very resilient, as we saw in that game, too. Yeah, always important with a new team. Nice move there from Miller Spring. She gets called for the travel. Feet got moving a little quicker than the ball. 30 seconds to go in this first quarter. See if the Amazons want to hold for the last shot. Abrams has it on the wing. Abrams and Hacker have not left the game so far in this first quarter. We'll see if that's a common theme throughout. Eight seconds to go. See if they want to go now. Mitchie to Hacker. Hacker's going to take it inside. And they call a charge on Hacker. She pushed off of the screen. Warriors left three seconds now. She does not like that call, though. The visible frustration right there. They get it into Dewey. Going to have to fire from half court here. Puts it up and comes up short. So Madeira leads it 8-5 to five at the end of the first quarter. A defensive struggle to this point. We will take a break and see you guys for the start of the second quarter. Go, 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 honey! If you love them enough to drive an hour to cheer them on as they get beat 11 to nothing in the rain, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly buckled in the back seat.
character in an ad that was given 12 seconds to remind you that if you're high, just don't drive. Because if you feel different, you drive different. It's illegal to drive high everywhere anyway. Welcome back for the start of the second quarter as the Marymount Warriors take on the Madeira Amazons. Marymount is trailing eight to five so far in this one and the Amazons will have the ball to start the second quarter. Talon, what are you looking to see here as we begin the second quarter of play? Um, I'd like to keep seeing uh, Madeira's uh, patience on offense. They, they love uh, just passing around. No one's really too selfish out there. Everybody's uh, getting looks. Yeah, they call a freshman on, or a call a foul on the freshman Dewey there. I think our score might be having some issues, but it is eight to five. Amazons lead it at the start of the second quarter of play. Hacker, their star player, will be inbounding it. She throws it up top to Abrams, right back to Hacker. Looks to put it up and gets fouled by Spreen. That's two on Spreen. Yeah, I, I think we try, the Warriors should try to put someone else, maybe a little bit bigger on a Hacker there. As they, they just took right advantage of uh, Miller Spreen's size. Yeah, she knocks down the first one. Here's the foul. Yeah, not much Miller Spreen can do right there when she's uh, outs out uh, outsized by someone. Yeah, she goes two paint. for two at the line there for Hacker's third points of the game. Dewey crosses over, now gives it to the senior Wilder. Wants to give it back to Dewey and she does. Now kick out to Zanardo in the corner. She'll shoot it from there from time to time and instead she takes it inside. Hacker gives it corner. Abrams couldn't handle it but ends up keeping it in bounds. Cross has not entered the game since picking up her second foul. Rockwell's been playing really well at the center position. Now Abrams fires a three contested, no good. It seemed a little forced there. Yeah, that was a tough shot. Wilder almost throws it away, but gets to Snardo. Now Dewey takes it inside. Freshman to freshman. Back, nice back cut from Spreen. She gives it out to Pageant. Nice Great ball movement. movement. Couldn't get anything out of it though. Now Spreen will pull up, no good. Yeah, gotta capitalize on those opportunities, Town. They moved yeah. it so well on that possession, but just didn't get any points. Yeah, I mean, that was a great look for the Warriors. I mean, I'd like to see more of that. Richie on the wing. Gives it center to Rockwell. Hacker brings it baseline, tries to kick it out, but turns it over, and then forces the jump ball. <laughs> Evie Metz will re-enter the game for Milo Zanardo. Evie was questionable coming into today with an ankle injury she suffered against Batavia, but he's gonna give it a go in this big rivalry matchup. I'd like to see uh, them get it down in the paint to Evie Metz on this possession. Uh, he, there's a significant size difference on height. Yeah, I'd have to agree. She wasn't looking, but still corralled that pass. Gets it to the senior Wilder, pump fakes. Now wants to shoot it, but doesn't. Coach Klein wanted to travel, and I might agree with him there. Yeah, she, she definitely took a few steps in between that uh, <laughs> jump stop. Yeah. Pageant matched up with Richie. She's gonna drive left, put it up, and get fouled. Yeah, Talon, we saw Hacker turned over on that last possession. Obviously, she's the star player of this team, but you raised some questions about yeah. her turnovers before this game. What did you find on that? I mean, she's averaging at least four to five a game, I'm pretty sure, and her season high is seven. So at some points, I think she can be a little too selfish and try to do too much with the ball. Yeah, got to make sure she's making the right reads out there, staying disciplined as Coach Klein wants her to. As the freshman pageant goes one for one from the line, see if she can hit the back end.
No good, Madeira rebounds. Hacker's gonna look to push, doesn't have numbers, but might, might take it anyway. Takes it inside and is fouled. Hacker is living at the free throw line right now, Talon. For sure. I mean, she's just out physically on everybody. I think she's just not scared to drive and afraid of any contact. Yeah, let her take this thing in transition, just full head of steam. I don't think anybody was gonna stop here, her on the court right there. Not a chance. Back iron on the first free throw. Jane Muller will enter the game for Aaron Wilder, and Laney Willett will come with her for any pageant. Laney Willett's first minutes of the game. For two right there. Oh, for Don't two see for that Hacker. Much. Now Spoon looks to push. Muller open, tries the three. No good. Hacker looking to push again. Richie has it on the wing. Looking for Hacker, gets it to her. They're just going wing to wing and they continue making cuts to the basket. Now Hacker makes a nice pop, pulls up from mid range. No good. Yeah, this second quarter will, Hacker has really kind of took control of the Madeira offense and everything's kind of run through her. Yeah, hasn't scored a ton to this point, but she's getting great looks. She's got to keep shooting them. Randy Willett can't corral and now it's a Brahms up the sideline. I'd like to see Hacker shoot the ball from three a little more town. She was cashing them in warm-ups, but hasn't taken one to this point in the yeah, game. Yeah, she has a beautiful jump shot. Oh, nice cut inside is Richie, and she picks up two points. Really nice pass from Michaela Davenport, the sophomore. Yeah, that was similar to the first two looks we got up in the deer offense, but we haven't seen much of the backdoor cuts since. Yeah, Richie's been diving to the basket all day, and she finally gets one to go. Elevator screen for Spreen. Now she's going to drive in, throws it up with the left hand. No good. Evie Metz on the putback and drips it over the rim. Her first points of the game. She was having a monster game against Batavia before she got hurt. Towns over. She's going to pick up right where she left off. Miller screen, it looked like on that last play, was just expecting a foul call to be. She just kind of threw it up, wanting to get to the free throw line. Yeah. Davis to Hacker, she's open, could have shot it. Now they swing it to Abram, she will take it. No good. Basket seems like they got a lid on him right now, Talon. Yeah, nobody can make it. Blocking foul called on Davis. Looks like Addison Rockwell will come into the game. Yeah, look at Dewey just driving down, wanted to get to her left hand for the lay in there, but Davis, not a bad foul, picked up the block and made sure that Dewey couldn't get two easy points. Yeah. As Talon said, Rockwell re entered the game. There's still no plus who started at center. I don't really blame the way Rockwell and Davis have been playing, or Rockwell and Davenport have been playing at this point in the game. You can expect her to still make her return later, but. No reason to put her back in right now. Yeah, especially with those two fouls. Got to be careful. Lindsey Fry sets a re the game at the next break. Rockwell open. She's already hit one today, and she hits another. Just like her brother will. I think I actually saw him enter the, uh, the gymnasium earlier, so yeah. definitely cheering for those buckets. He's sitting to the right of the student section over there. <laughs> Not the most conventional jump shot in the world, to be honest with you, Talon. Kind of a lot of movement of her lower body when she hit, when she takes it, but so far she's two for three, and no sign of her stopping anytime soon. Why fix it if it ain't broke, Will? It's an excellent point. Your coach Spring right now, what are you telling to the Warriors to get them going on offense and pick up some stops on defense? Um, I think, uh, we just got to be a little more patient. We got some really good looks on offense, but sometimes we're just throwing up shots that we just we don't need. Yeah, that's a great point. You know, this Marymount team, very, very much dissimilar to the Amazons, who have been very patient, only taking shots that they really want, whereas Marymount at times has had to force it a little bit, as Talon said. You know, both Screen and Dewey have been looking to get inside, but Madeira guards have been doing a nice job on them. Yeah, I'd like to see uh, Lindsey Fry take some more shots and take control as the veteran of this team. 
Yeah, no doubt. She's shooting at a 45% from three so far this year. So look for her to fire it from deep. She can absolutely knock him down. Came up clutch with that big three against the, the uh, Batavia squad. Yeah, last that was week. an exciting moment. Go back and check that game out on the Warrior Broadcast Network if you haven't, because it was an absolute thriller, even though the Bulldogs were able to come out with the victory over Marymont. Back door goes Spreen. Nice pass from Evie Metz and, and one. one for Miller Spreen. Great play call drawn up by Coach Spreen right there. Yeah, beautiful cut and an even better pass from Evie Metz to set her up. Here we go again, Talon. Yeah, foul was on Richie. Great touch from the sophomore Spreen. Yeah, she rarely misses free throws too well, so anytime she gets the line, you can expect two from her. Yeah. They're not with their first points of the second quarter. Richie top of the key, dumps it inside the hacker. Now she's gonna look to go. Can't get it, but gets her own rebound. Dumps it down to Abrams. Really nice play. Interesting uh, decision here, Will. I think uh, the Warriors put in a 2-3 zone on that possession. Yeah, Alexa Hacker took advantage with the second chance points and the assist to Abrams. She led the league in assists last year. Now screen from deep won't go. And Hacker with the rebound. She's everywhere right now. Gets it to Abrams. Can they go two for two on that connection? They can. Yeah. I mean, the Mustangs, or excuse me, the Amazons can uh, really shoot the ball. and You just can't give up that shot, especially with the 2-3 zone. I think I'd like to see them go back to man. Yeah, not a bad call at all. Now Spreen takes it inside, loses control, keeps it in bounds to Spreen, or to Fry. Sonardo set to enter the game at the next stoppage. Now Spreen's gonna pull up from deep. Can she hit one? She cannot. She's been pulled from beyond the three-point arc. Gotta today. keep shooting though. If I'm Coach Spreen, I'm telling her, do not stop pulling the trigger because they need her to score some points. For sure. Kellett has it, guarded by the freshman Dewey. Spreen almost gets the steal. She now does. picks it up. And is fouled, she will go to the line. Really nice defensive play from Miller Spreen. I think if the Amazons are gonna keep passing it around to the volleyball line, you have to apply some pressure to them, for sure. I mean, everybody in the gym knew where that ball was going. She just completely was looking at her the whole time. Yeah. Green gets the front end, and now Mila Zanardo will sub in for Evie Metz, and Natasha Davis will enter the game as well. Here's Spreen as she thrashes her way into the paint. Could have given the foul to Richie or Kellett there. I don't know who they gave it to. I couldn't quite tell. And Michaela Davenport will also re-enter the game. So now Davenport and Rockwell on the court together, a rare sight for this Amazon's team. No good, but Zanardo on the rebound, put back, layup, no good. Yeah. Looks like uh, the Warriors will try to sub in before halftime, uh, freshman um, Emmy Pageant. Emmy Pageant. Klein wants his team to slow this one down and hold it for the last shot, up by eight. They give it inside to O'Brien, and she picks up two points. She's had the last seven for the Amazons. Yeah, I mean, this quarter's been kind of just a complete defensive breakdown for the Warriors. Not Pick like the three. defense uh, we saw in the first quarter. Um, yeah, I'm not going to lie, Tom. That was a rough first half from the Warriors. They trailed 22 to 12 halfway through this game. The Amazons have been utterly dominant in all facets of, ma of this matchup. Rockwell's hit a couple threes. Hacker's getting assists, rebounds, points. She's all over the court. Marymont needs to find a way to score some points. We're going to take a halftime break. We will see you for the third quarter of this afternoon matchup between the Amazons and the Warriors.
I felt accomplished after I got my diploma. It made me feel that I could take on whatever challenges life throws at you. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. next item on our agenda is item number five, opening session. I want to thank everyone for joining us this evening. If you're out here at the parade or listening, thank you again. Into the end zone, and that is caught by Jaden Wood. Come on now, how we doing? Y'all feeling all right out there? Hello, and welcome to this edition of This is Glendale. I'm Bet Chorus. Hey guys, this is Unit 1 crew from One Long Farm. We just want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And of course, you can always go to ICRCTV.com. Always a great day when ICRC is involved. Another edition of ICRC bringing the community to you. How are you doing? Hey, Mason. Hey, Mason. Thank you. A place to make my own. A place that I call home. This place that I call home. My mother was always very familiar with her neighborhood. But one day she stopped at the stop sign for much longer than usual. And uh, she didn't know whether she should go forward or, or turn. And she wasn't even really sure where she was at. It was very unsettling for her. I felt so much better after my son told me, Mom, I don't want you to worry or be afraid. I'll be there for you, and we'll figure it out. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. What are you doing in there? What's up? Oh. I wouldn't do that. What are you doing? What are you looking for? felt accomplished after I got my diploma. It made me feel that I could take on whatever challenges life throws at you. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. It's a dad. Every day is a challenge. To make sure that the time that I have, I spend with them. It doesn't matter how tired you are. You have to try and to teach them. When they learn something new, and you can just see in their faces, it's, it's such an incredible moment. It's those moments that are, that are my favorite. What if you could feel in control of your retirement in just a few clicks? At aceyourretirement.org, you can. Start with a free three-minute chat with Avo, your friendly digital retirement coach. Just answer some simple questions like, how do you feel about your ability to save for retirement? Or in how many years do you want to retire? To get free action items customized just for you, get your retirement back on track at aceyourretirement.org.
Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. When I was growing up, my mom was extremely tidy. We were trained to put things back where we got them from. One day, when I walked into my mom's house, I felt like I walked to someone else's house. There were stuff everywhere. And just growing up, the way I grew up, and to see this transition was very alarming. When Sean talked to me, it was a wake up call, and that's when I went to the doctor. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Hi, I'm Smokey Bear, and I made an assistant to help you prevent wildfires. Dude, I've got this. I've been camping since I was five years old. But I am a camping influencer. You know what, I'll bet you five bucks. Okay. Assistant Smokey, what is the best way to put out a campfire? Mm -hmm. To put out a campfire, drown with water, stir, drown again, then make sure the fire is out cold by feeling with the back of your hand. Wait, really? I'll take the five bucks. I felt accomplished after I got my diploma. It made me feel that I could take on whatever challenges life throws at you. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. When I was growing up, my mom was extremely tidy. We were trained to put things back where we got them from. One day, when I walked into my mom's house, I felt like I walked to someone else's house. There were stuff everywhere. And just growing up, the way I grew up, and to see this transition was very alarming. When Sean talked to me, it was a wake-up call, and that's when I went to the doctor. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Hi, I'm Smokey Bear, and I made an assistant to help you prevent wildfires. Dude, I've got this. I've been camping since I was five years old. But I am a camping influencer. You know what, I'll bet you five bucks. Okay. Assistant Smokey, what is the best way to put out a campfire? Mm -hmm. To put out a campfire, drown with water, stir, drown again, then make sure the fire is out cold by feeling with the back of your hand. Wait, really? I'll take the five bucks. Welcome back to ICRC's coverage of Marymount basketball as the Warriors take on the Amazons here as we start the second half. The Amazons lead this one 22 to 12. I'm Will Stevens alongside Talon Mianello. Talon, what adjustments do the Warriors and Coach Spree need to make? Um, they, they need to change up the defense. They had this 2-3 uh, zone running for the Warriors in the second quarter and they just kind of had a defensive breakdown. I'd like to see them be a little more patient on offense too. Yeah, maybe maybe Spree just told Mielazar to start getting some more steals like she did there and that's a pretty effective strategy. Down by 10, they need to make up a lot of ground. They were struggling on offense, too, not just defense. Down 22 to 12, just 12 points put up in that first half. Not 
a very astounding number. We've got to get Spreen, Fry, and Zanardo going. Spreen can't convert, or Fry can't convert on that one now. Richie looks to push. Yeah, that was similar numbers to the JV offense in uh, the first half, Will. Yeah, I thought that was a low scoring game. So Abram swings it to Richie. Richie. Press re enters the game for the first time since she picked up her second foul in the first quarter. Expect her to get some more playing time this half. Yeah, Hacker takes it inside, just rims out. Now Spreen looks to push. He's going to pull up for three. Gets it! Money. What a three from Miller Spreen, and that could be the momentum swing the Warriors need. We haven't seen that all night from her, and that's a little unusual. Now her first three of the night. Davis looks inside to Hacker, nice pump fake. She gets inside, gets underneath what Zanardo. A can't convert. Can't yeah. get it to go. What a nice move from Alexa Hacker. I've seen multiple times tonight. Uh, Springing from just... way downtown. Oh, oh my goodness! And she's taking over this game, Will. Are you kidding me? From Jimmer range. Six quick points for Spreen, and the Warriors are right back in it. First minute of that quarter, they scored more points than they did in the entirety of the second quarter, Will. That's a good way to start your second half. Anyone at home who didn't catch my Jimmer Fredette reference, go look up some Jimmer Fredette highlights on YouTube from the NCAA tournament. It's a sight to behold. <laughs> Amazon's looking to slow it down, take away some of, some of Marymount's momentum. Hacker top of the key, hasn't shot a three yet in this game despite her silky jumper that we saw in warmups. I mean, this Marymount team just looks completely different in the second half. They're re-energized and they're, they're not backing down real. Yeah, I wonder what Coach Spring said at halftime to get him fired up, but they're definitely looking pretty good. Richie's got her shoe untied, so fix that up and we'll get back to playing. Packer to inbound. She's got Richie and she gives it to her. Cross inside working on Matt. She's gonna put it up, no good. Good defense from Evie and now she corrals the rebound. Might want to pull up and guard the screen at this point. She's going to take it inside. Thought she got fouled with no call. And there's the foul right there. Evie Metz called for the reach on Hacker. In the second half, we've also seen uh, Lindsey Fry is now guarding uh, Hacker instead of Miller, so. Yeah, and she does a nice job to get a deflection there. Definitely had to make some defensive adjustments. Tom yeah. and I were talking about that at halftime. He was saying, whatever the Miramont Warriors were doing, it wasn't working, and I couldn't agree more. They tried to go to that 2-3 a couple times, which was just not very effective. Abrams hit a couple threes, and Hacker got a couple offensive rebounds. Yeah, they were just taking advantage of the zone in the second quarter. Abrams back to the basket on the wing. Gets it to her point guard, Hacker. Yeah, I'd really like to see her search taking some threes. Maybe you see one right here, nope. And they give it inside the press, back out to Richie. She puts up the three, misses it short, and now Screen looks to go. Inside to Zanardo. Turn around from Mila, great gets it to go. Right there. Great ball movement, great shot, great pass from Screen. It's a two point game, closest it's been since very early in this one. Now Abrams looks to respond. Huge three from Zoa Brahms, a fire right back. Complete opposite so far of the second quarter. We saw lots of uh, defense from these Mustangs, but I mean, there's just a shootout here in the second half. Screen walks it up the court. Now Hacker's going to guard a little, bit, a little bit of an adjustment from the Amazons. They're trying to shut down the sophomore Miller screen, but now Fry's going to take her turn from three. No good, and the Amazons come down with the rebound. Oh, 
It's Coach Klein barking orders to his team. Now Hacker gets it inside the Pruss. She turns around on Evie and one for Emma Pruss. Those were the first points of the game right there. Yes, indeed. Had to sit out for a large portion of the first half due to foul trouble, but she's back and better than ever right now. 14, my bad. 14. Questionable uh, free throw form right there, Will. Yeah, the southpaw press not able to convert the end one. Now Fry with a really nice floater, beautiful touch from the senior. Warriors is just having answer after answer for their own songs. Trading punches right now, it's a five point game. Inside the press, she just scored. Now she's gonna look to kick it out. Richie had the mid-range jumper there, but chose to pass it up. Now screen and roll with the Brahms. Hacker takes it inside and is fouled by Miller Spreen, who is in disbelief. Could you give him uh, some tips to prevent that foul? First second, team third. Addison Rockwell, the junior, sent to enter the game here. Yep. This Madeira team does not run a deep lineup. They only had about six or seven girls enter the game so far, and Hacker just doesn't come out. Now this one's a steal from Davis, gets it to Hacker in the middle, puts it up and gets it. Just like that, Hacker's got seven and it's a seven point game. Hacker's pumped up right now. She's into this game. Applying all sorts of pressure over Miller. And she gets the steal here. Here goes Hacker. Offensive foul Offensive on Hacker. foul on Hacker, that's a huge Pushed swing. off right at the end. I mean, that was just completely unneeded, Will. She had the size advantage, advantage over Miller. And she was gonna get the shot up no matter what. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. She had more than sophomore on her. She's arguing with the coach now right now too. <laughs> Saying that Miller might have flopped a little bit there. She might have sold it, but definitely an elbow was thrown from Hacker. Yeah. See that arm extension. Yeah, refs are gonna call that all day long. Could have made a double digit lead, but instead the Warriors have a chance to respond. Hacker and screen again. We highlighted this matchup before the game. It has lived up to the hype. Screen wide open. You her can't leave her. Game. She shoots it at 45%, and you see why. You cannot leave her vacated beyond the arc. She doesn't shoot the three often, Will, but when she does, you can expect it to go in. Yeah, no doubt about it. Now Brahms takes it inside, tries to dump it to Pruss, but the freshman Dewey gets it and gets fouled. They call it on Emma Pruss, and that's her third of the game. Oh, my goodness. I thought they were going to get a Brahms for her, but they called it on Pruss, and that's huge. I don't even know if Coach Klein knows it. Yeah, I mean, Probably the coach of the Arizona run. I need to get her out of the game, save her for the fourth quarter. Yeah, no doubt about it. Can't let her get a fourth foul this early. Yeah, that'd be devastating at this point in the game. Looks Hacker. like the uh, Marymount boys team just showed up too, Will. Yeah. After their exciting game in double overtime. Harsh foul committed at the top of the key there by Hacker. As Tom mentioned, the boys traveled up to Newport, picked up a double overtime win. Another return cheer on the girls. Hacker exits for the first time today and is not happy about it. Yeah, she had a little bit of a, some talking back right there. We'll see how the Amazons perform in her absence. Leonardo gets it to Dewey. Has the shot but doesn't take it. Great pass. Turnaround from Mila, no good, and gets called for an over the back foul on Pruss. Six point game with 50 seconds to go in the third quarter here. I will 
be interested to see if the Amazons try and hold it for this entire final minute. Yeah, I mean, the Warriors have not had a lot of uh, possessions that they hadn't had success with this this quarter, but I mean, it's a foul, so. Yeah, hard to hold possession when you get called for an illegal screen, like Addison Rockwell did there, and now Davenport will enter for Cross. Green takes it up. An opportunity to cut it to one possession here if they can score at the end of the quarter. Great drive. Dewey takes it inside. I don't know if that was the shot they wanted for the final possession of the quarter, but Lindsey Fry forces the jump ball, and it stays with Marymount. I mean, I think either way, that was a good look for the Warriors. But at the end of the day, they have the ball, so it doesn't matter. Great point, Talon, 25 seconds to go here. They get it to Spreen, she fires from the wing. And that's Gets the three it to they go! Won. Huge three from Miller Spreen, and it's a three point ball game. I think in this fourth quarter where we can expect the student section for the Warriors to come really involved and in, uh, get in the heads of the Amazons. Corner three here, as it's no good. Double in numbers in the last maybe minute. Boy, oh boy, we have a ball game on our hands. The gym is getting more packed by the second, and it's a three-point Amazon lead. The Warriors won that third quarter by seven points as they gear up for the fourth. We will cut to a commercial break as we see this screen from this three from screen one more time. We'll see you for the start of the fourth. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. When it comes to making plans, you are the best. What about those barbecues you plan in detail for your family? Or your daughter's first costume party? It was out of this world. The same way you plan each detail for those moments, start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Sign up for local weather and emergency alerts. Prepare an emergency kit and make a family communications plan. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make. Welcome back into the Marymount High School for this epic fourth quarter set up for an absolutely electric showdown as the Amazons will start with the ball. It's going to be Davis, the sophomore, bringing it up the court, guarded by the freshman Dewey from Marymount. Packer and Press have re-entered the game for the Amazons, and Evie Metz has come back in for Marymount. Yeah, you can't let uh, Hacker stay out of the game for too long in this close of game in the fourth quarter, Will. Yeah, we saw what happened when she was out for just the end of the third quarter. Three seconds is called on Richie. Second call of uh, the game for that. Yeah, I think it was on Richie both times as well, so she's gotta be mindful of that. As the Warriors and Spring will take the ball back up the court with a chance to square this ball game up. <laughs> Coach Klein asking for pressure on the Warriors from his defense, and Hackers applying it to Spring. Those two have been going at it. Screen way downtown, can't get that one to go. But Mila with a big offensive rebound, and this one's knocked out of bounds by Abrams, and Marymount retains it. I think the roof would have erupted on this place if I mean, Screen would have canned that one. I for sure would have will. Would have been four deep threes in the second half alone. Yeah, she had nine points in the third quarter. This one swings to Dewey, pump fake. She's reluctant to shoot the three, always wants to get inside. But getting some key minutes late in this game is the freshman. I mean, the Amazons do not want to give up any more deep three throw. They're playing her all the way out to the volleyball line. Yeah, Hacker's all over screen. She dumps it inside to Evie Metz, double who team. gets double teamed, brings it back out. Coach Klein wanted to travel, but she got rid of it in time. Cross court to Zanardo. Amazons are swarming to the ball right now. And a foul is called on the floater by Lindsey Fry. Zoe Brums just in complete shock. Doesn't think of a foul call right there. Yeah, came in late from the sideline referee, but not a bad call overall. Coach Klein having some words about it. 
Lindsay Fry. Lindsay Fry gets the first one to go. Jane Muller will re-enter for Evie Metz. Look for her to come back in at the end of the game on limited minutes tonight due to that ankle injury. Yeah, I mean, in this fourth quarter, I'd like to see Jane Mueller get more involved in offense. She's been kind of quiet tonight. Lindsay Fry goes two for two. We got a one-point game with six and a half to play. Hacker will walk this one up the court. Senior on senior matchup here with Fry and Hacker. Alexa's got seven tonight, but looking to expand on that down the stretch. Had a lot of assists and rebounds as she's filling up the stat sheet. A couple steals as well. Davis on the wing. Gets it over to Richie, now to Hacker. Lots of contact. Yeah, fights Fry off where they're gonna let him play. Ella Brahms gave her some space. She lines up the three, no good, but gets her own rebound. Hacker takes it inside. Floater is up, no good. And Marymont has it with Lindsey Fry now, who's gonna look to slow it down. She gets it to Miller as she crosses the timeline. And Spring's gonna slow this one down. Yeah, the Warriors need to take a break and just let this possession play out and not force anything, I think. Hacker and Spring match up against other again. Spring's gonna pull up. She hits it, but no a foul shot. is called. Wow. Moving screen on Mila Zanardo. Student section is letting it here. We didn't have a great angle out of it here. Let's see another look. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt never, about it. Never was set there. Looked like she kind of wanted to give the screen, but then decided she was going to roll to the basket and play, play in the post a little bit. And Hacker yeah. took an elbow because of it. So I think the right call there. But much to the dismay of Warrior fans. Rockwell sets the screen for Davis. Russ at the free throw line. Davis takes it inside, throws up a shot, no good. Great rebound from Evie Metz, very strong. Oh, and Abrams commits the foul on screen. Well, I'm, I'm still shocked that Hacker has not gotten involved in shooting for deep. And I'll tell you what, Talon, we were trying, we were looking at her in the warm ups, and then she could miss from beyond the arc. And oh, no, no. The Warriors are applying a lot of pressure to her out there, but she's got to try it at some point, yeah. I would think. I mean, has she even got a single three point shot up on I don't night? think so. Fry, she's gotten some threes up in this one. That one won't go. Cross secures the rebound. And Hacker slows it down. Both teams a little reluctant to push the pace. Spreen looked for the steal, oh, went flying by. Amazon's had it four on five for a second, but elected not to use it. And now she, she gets, gets the it. steal this time. Big play for Miller Spreen. Spin spinning move. into the lane. And oh, a my. travel is called on Jeez. Miller Spreen. It will go the other way. I gotta be honest, Tom, I don't know if I agree with that one. Let's see if we can get a replay here. Our folks in the booth are saying that she took more than two. Real time, it looked clean. But I think the refs might have got that one yeah. right. Seems to be a good call by the refs. Great game management late here when tensions are running high. Still able to make the right call. They dump it inside the hacker, puts it up over. Fly, but can't get it to go. Now Prust gets the rebound, gets double teamed, but dribbles out and gets it to a Brahms. I like how the rest are letting them play here. I mean, there's lots of physical physicality in this game. Not calling me any fouls. Yeah, big rivalry game here. You know things are going to get physical, going to get intense, but the rest are doing a great job. Inside to a Brahms. Blocked Ooh. by Spreen and they call a foul. That that looks from over here to be all ball, Will. That I one know. I can tell you with a lot of certainty was all ball. They might have gotten her for the push in the back. Let's get another look at it, Talon. Yeah, she got her left hand yeah. on the back there. Yeah, the right hand got all ball, but she did apply a little bit of pressure to the back of her Brahms, which might be where the foul was called. Number 11, Zoe. Seems to be a decent foul so far. Snarder <laughs> checks back into the game for the Warriors for for Dewey. The freshman will exit. That might be the end of her game tonight. We'll see if she comes back in. Yeah, I'd be surprised if they put the game into any of the freshmen's hands uh, and the rest of it. You want to have your most experienced players out there. Yeah, no doubt. Brahms with one for two from the line, making a two-point game. The Warriors have their starting lineup out there right now. Yes, they do. Both teams, actually, with the starting lineups out there.
Fry gets it to Muller, who takes it left. Puts it up, nice play from Jane Muller. Game for her. Talon Warner to get a little bit more involved than she does. Time Tight out game. from Doug Screen. How about this one? Fading away, two defenders on her, no mind. Well, we Jane might have Muller. another overtime thriller on our hands. I tell you what, these games tend to come down to the wire, and I think Coach Spreed just has this general savviness as a coach, toughness, the grind that he puts into his team to be able to fight their way back into games like this. They were down 10 at the end of the first half, down three at the end of the third quarter, but they refused to go away. Yeah, as I said earlier, this is a really resilient team here, and I'm excited to see how they can uh, have some success this year. Yeah, winning this game would mean everything for both teams, but especially the Warriors who got beat by the Amazons, not only for the CHL championship, but also in the state tournament last year. Zanardo will exit here as Dewey re-enters the game. Might be going a little bit of offense, defense with those two. Don't want Zanardo to pick up any more fouls, but they need her in when they're playing on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, we saw a little bit of uh, that subbing in the last game. Marymount applying a little bit of a press here, but Hack is just going to take it herself. Now gives it up to Richie. Almost throws it into the backcourt, but Amrams is able to get there in time. Abrams has Muller on her. Looking inside instead, she gets it over to Davis. Inside to Pruss, kicks it out to Abrams. Nice close out from Muller. Two and a half minutes to play here in this tie ball game. Abrams crosses over, gets it out to Hacker who has Fry on her. Lindsay's been playing her, I mean, almost locking her off when the ball's been on the opposite side of the court. So maybe the coach Green has just said, I, we cannot afford to let her shoot tonight. And yeah, she gets the foul there, but they refuse to let her get up any threes. Now Zanardo will be coming back into the game from Muller after Hacker shoots her first one. Switches the front end and gives the Amazons the lead. Both. Hacker goes two for two. She's got nine points tonight, so we are right on pace to hit her average of 12 and a half a game. You know what would get her to that, Will? A three-pointer. That's a good point. Maybe it would let her shoot one once in a while. Yeah. Zanardo takes it inside, catches air, but Mets with the rebound, gets it out to Spreen, to Dewey, pulls up from mid-range. Can't Almost quite get the in. bank, but Zanardo's all over the rebound. Gets it to Fry, Fry with the floater. She loves that shot and hits it here. Student section has erupted here, Will. Lindsey Fry, her second one of the game from that same spot, and she ties the game up with under two minutes to play. Richie inside to press. They're gonna send two at her. Timeout is called by Coach Klein. Wants it for 30. Must as he's going to draw off the play. He there. Maybe use it as an opportunity to get Rockwell into the game, get yeah. some more shooters. Wonder who she'll come in for. Maybe Davis? Yeah, I can see that. Coach Spreen trying to figure out where the inbounds pass is going to be given from. They're saying it's a baseline, but Spreen wants it to be on the sideline. I think when the timeout was given, they had it in the post with Richie, so I think this should be a baseline out of bounds. Yeah. Talon, if you're Coach Klein here, what are you drawing up for the Amazons? I mean, I gotta get it in the hands of my best player, Hacker, so I mean, maybe a pick or two and uh, try to get something uh, to her, if not, uh, pass to someone else and then pick again on for Hacker to get her the ball. Hacker's gonna inbound it. She's the facilitator of the team, but also the main scorer, so we'll see where they go oh, with this. And we see the same play from the first half. They're gonna post her right out. Kick out to Rockwell, huge three, puts up here, rings no good. it out. Off Alexa Hacker's foot, and, and it will go to Marymount. She's astonished here, Will. She, she can't believe that call. The entire Amazon bench is in disbelief. From here, it looked like it did hit Hacker's foot and then go out of bounds. Either way, a close call. As two Warriors were right next to her. 
And a warning on the Amazon coach. Bench warning on the Amazons. Next one will be a technical here, Will. It was on Jared Klein, the head coach, who was giving the ref an earful after that call. Now it'll be the assistant coach who steps up and gives the direction yeah. to the team. Coach Klein doesn't want to risk picking up that technical as the Warriors bring it up the court. Evie has Rockwell on her. Now she gives the screen to Miller Screen. Under a minute and a half to play now. Biggest possession of the afternoon. Mila tried to set a screen. Hacker was not having it pushed yeah, her away. Miller's very patient here. Hacker equally as patient, just waiting for her to make her move. Now Dewey's got it in the short corner, takes it inside. The freshman and with the biggest converts. points of her life. Timeout Warriors. What a play from Alyssa Dewey. Comes in clutch here at the end. How about this one? She gets it in the short corner, takes it to the middle. I thought she was going to give it up to Fry, but instead she throws it up off the backboard and in. Just like the game against uh, Batavia here, Will. Comes in clutch right at the end with a huge bucket for the Warriors. Yeah, when they needed her most. Two-point game with under a minute to play. The thing if you're the Amazons, you have to get, look to get a shot up relatively quick. Marymont is in the bonus, so the next Amazon foul will be free throws for Marymont. Warriors do have a foul to give as well. Not that they need to do it right now, but it could uh, be helpful later in the game. Yeah, I wouldn't mind for the Warriors if you see a drive to the basket from someone like Hacker or Pruss gets it in the post, just give the foul, make them reset. Yeah. We'll see what they go with, though. Coach Klein refused to even respond to the referee's comment about him, about him having four timeouts left. There's an attention in the air right now as Hacker brings it up on Fry. They want to get it to cross inside, and three seconds is called. Rockwell wanted the ball, too. She thinks she wanted the three there. That's a huge mistake. Rockwell will sub out for Grace Kellett. Amazons don't have to foul immediately. They can give it some time, try and force a turnover. It's inbounded to Mila, who gets double teamed, gives it up to the senior Fry. Over to screen, really nice press break from Marymont. Coach Klein wants the trap. No one's coming to help Hacker. They're going to have to give the I mean, foul at some point. They're burning the clock away. Precious seconds ticking away. Timeout is called Great by call. Coach Spreen. I believe he's got one left. Warriors will inbound it from their own bench. We're going to throw you guys to break and then come back for the final 30 seconds of this matchup. See you guys on the other side. Go, 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 honey. If you love them enough to drive an hour to cheer them on as they get beat 11 to nothing in the rain, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly buckled in the back seat. Back, Marymont exits the timeout with Lindsey Fry inbound the ball. Hacker is denying screen. 30 get seconds to, to play here. They get it into the freshman Dewey, who is fouled. She will go to the line. Lots of pressure here on the freshman, Will. Yeah, she did hit that recent layup to give the Marymont Warriors the lead by two. It seems they're not in the bonus, Will. I think they might have screwed up the fouls on the scoreboard. It said they were at four already, but I think the Amazons were just at three. Now they foul Spreen, who's probably who the Marymount Warriors would most like to have at the line, which he's fouled pretty aggressively. Took a hard fall there. Grabbing that arm in some pain. That is, that should be the fifth foul. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. The scoreboard operator might have something screwed up because they said on the scoreboard that, that both those should have been the fifth foul, but neither of them were called as such. 
Miller lost control, but saved by a foul call. Now Spring will go to the line, finally. Two free throws would go a long way from Marymount right yeah. now. Warriors keeping all four of the rest of the players behind uh, their back court. She hits the front end for her 10th points of the second half. Coach Green does not want to give up any threes here. Yeah, got to be guarding the perimeter with everything you have your Marymount after this free throw. <coughs> Screen goes two for two. Ice cold is Miller Screen. Amazons need to score, need to do so quick. They're going to call timeout. And the Amazons had Claire wide open the corner and Grace Kellett. Yeah, Talon's right. Kellett was wide open in the corner, I think. I think the Amazons just decided they were going to call timeout before they even really saw how that one played out. Yeah. Subbed in Addison Rockwell on this timeout, too. I mean, this has to be almost like just catch and shoot immediately if you're the Amazons. You do not yeah. have the kind of time to dilly dally with the You can't possession. rush any of the clock as a two possession game. Yeah. You got to draw something up as soon as you get the ball in, you got to throw up a shot. Twelve and a half seconds to play at Marymount High School. The Warriors lead it by four. It's been a defensive struggle all night, but this second half has seen some more potent offenses go to work. It's going to be Zanardo, Dewey, Spreen, Muller, and fly for the Warriors. I don't know what the Amazons are running. They get it to Rockwell. Now they, I mean, they got to put up a shot. They got to do it I mean, now. They're just burning the clock here. Here it and goes. Nowhere and near it the hits basket. The basket support. That's going to probably do it here. I don't see any way the Amazons can make this one work. They're going to sub in Grace Kelly. I mean, you never know, Will. We did see in a club basketball, I think it was last week, came back down from five points with how, under a second left. Yeah, all Marymount's got to do is get it in bounds, and they do it as Leonardo. And that's going to do the game the right there. The junior dribbles it up the court, throws up a shot. I don't know what she was doing. But so that's going to end the game anyway. Either the way. Marymount Warriors pull out a win in thrilling fashion with a second half comeback. Town, who do you want to give the player of the game to? I think we got to give it to Miller Screen, came in clutch that third quarter with those back to back to back three pointers. From yeah, she caught fire in the second half, led the Warriors to that incredible comeback. Overall, this could go a long way in boosting the Warriors season. The Amazons fall to one and four on the year. So not ideal for them. But these guys are gonna see each other again down the road and it's gonna be thrilling when they do. Make sure to tune in for the next one. Once again, I'm Will Stevens alongside Talon Mianello on ICRC's coverage of Marymount Basketball. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you guys next time.